Welcome to beautiful, many face sunny Mauritius. I'm just gonna finish this one here and then, and then we're gonna be talking about how much money you will be spending during a week here in Mauritius. Mauritius is one of those really diverse destinations. It could be a super active wonder of nature adventure or a lounging by the sea getting tipsy on all inclusive drinks kind of vacation. It's totally up to you. With that said, you might wonder over a few things. Money. Is Mauritius expensive? Well, let's put it like this. Our jovial cab driver in the Seychelles told us about how his buddy is used to go on shopping trips to Mauritius because it's so much cheaper here. Well, that doesn't really mean it's cheap on Mauritius. Just a hell of a lot cheaper than on the Seychelles. Expect prices around or just under the more touristy parts of the Caribbean. Safety. If you go to Mauritius, you will die. <laughs> no, not at all. Don't sweat. The world is a much safer place than you think, and Mauritius is definitely on the safer end of the spectrum. Language. More good news. Most citizens of Mauritius are bilingual, meaning they are pretty much fluent in both English and French. Because I'm guessing you don't speak a lot of Mauritian Creole. Transportation. Mauritius is one of the richest countries in Africa per capita. And it's also the only African country I've been where I might consider renting a car. If I knew how to drive, that is. The roads are really decent, so if you want to get around, rent a car. Anyways, let's get started with this. For once, I went all in for the hotel tourist experience. I needed to rest a bit, okay? Which means I can't really deliver any absolute best things to see, don't miss this experience kind of video. This time around, you'll have to settle with this is how much you'll spend during a week setup. If that doesn't work for you, I honestly don't know how to help you. So, why not start with that airport taxi? A large chunk of the tourists head straight for the Grand Valle area in the northwest. Not us. We aim for a 50-minute cab ride to the little more quiet Côte d'Ours in the Bel Air area, costing roughly $50. Checking into a middle-priced, all-inclusive hotel by the sea cost us $175 a night. Which by default makes every single glass of wine costing, well, nothing. We also ate occasionally. First couple of days staying at an all-inclusive place, you're not really meant to be doing that much. Take a stroll along the pretty, wild beaches. Step on a sea urchin, which I did right after shooting this one. And borrow some water sport kit from your hotel. If you're lucky, they won't charge you a dime. If you get tired of getting fed free all-inclusive food four times a day, try some of the real local cuisine. Right about now, it's bloody time to get some sightseeing done. The main drag on the east side is Il Osef, which is commonly simply referred to as the island. A one-day multi-stop to the island and its whereabouts is $50, including pickup from your hotel. And that's money well spent, because you're getting all of this.
If you still want to check out the Grand Bay area, the taxi from Trudeau Douce will take you just under one hour and costs about $60. Check out the two favorites, Treyebert and La Cuvette Beach, or take a trip to nearby bustling capital Port Louis. But a couple of hours ought to do it before you start missing those beaches again. If you're in for a rainforest adventure, there's also a lot of cool nature waiting for you in the Black River Gorges National Park in the southwest. That's pretty much all I can tell you since we never really picked up that trail. Focus in on La Dolce Vida. So, all in all, this is how much we spent during one week in the Mauritius, doing a few excursions, staying in an all-inclusive hotel. Not a lot on the food and drink sheet there, cause we were staying all-inclusive. Compared to many other island in the middle of the ocean kind of destinations, you will find that Mauritius has a really reliable infrastructure with good roads, decent bus communications and a solid flow of electricity. Diversity You want to scuba dive and lie on the beach in the morning and take a jungle tour seeing some waterfalls after lunch? You got it! Mauritius is big enough to deliver a range of experiences and small enough to let you stay at one place and still have day access to pretty much the whole island. People As you already know, most people will understand you and be speaking English here, and you will also get a chance of practicing with French. People will be joyful, playful and helpful, pretty much regular rays of sunshine spreading their optimism. So make sure to spend some time with the locals to get that gloom off. Beaches Mauritius is advertised a lot towards paradise beaches. And yeah, it's got a lot of really nice ones. Some of them are nothing short of fantastic, while others are more of the rougher uncut diamond type. But you will find even more beautiful beaches in the nearby Seychelles. Or Zanzibar. I mean, at least possibly. I've never met anyone who wasn't happy about their visit to Mauritius, because this is an awesome place where pretty much everything is possible. Just try to keep your expectations in check. You'll have one hell of a vacation. The chances are you've already had a better beach, a better scuba dive or a better jungle trip somewhere else before. Mauritius is all about the whole picture. Price-wise, Mauritius definitely falls on the more expensive half of the spectrum, but at the same time, prices feel justified and reasonable. After all, this is an island in the middle of the ocean, and there are definitely more expensive islands out there. And here's one last tiny bit more. Mauritius hasn't really got any street food culture for that spur-of-the-moment on-the-fly snacking. And when it comes down to restaurants, bars and nightclubs, well, they will be out there. But don't expect to be drowning in after dark fun options. Chances are you'll be sticking to your hotel a lot. Yeah, that sums it up. You don't have to call a math professor or something here, cause it's pretty bloody obvious. Mauritius, you passed the test. Thanks for holding on all the way to the bitter end here. The next video is gonna be something quite different. That's all I'm saying right now. Tune in to Swedish Gringo in like two weeks or something like that. And I'll promise you there's gonna be a treat waiting for you. Take care out there.